Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, 78 Trans Am. Listen man, I run down the list of these features of this car here. You gotta hear me for a second. I love these things, but remember, some had Pontiac motors, some did not. That may mean something to you, that may not. And when you're talking about investment grade cars, you need to be thinking about like, hey, what's in here that makes it investment grade and will this car appreciate over time? And I'm gonna run down this and show you a couple of things. For instance, this right here, because it's a four speed, all right, uh, it would have come with the Pontiac 6.6, uh, the real Pontiac 400 motor. With the automatics, you get the Olds motor. Not a bad engine, I just throw that out there so in case you didn't know that, some people do, some people don't, and that's the nature of the beast. So uh, the one thing I do love so much about this car here is a lot of people love 79, some love 78s. I'm kind of cool with all those years. You know, the rich kids in high school had them, uh, and I always thought they were great looking cars. I had a Volkswagen Beetle. Don't say anything, man, please. I'm in therapy because of it still, okay, still 30 years later. But now I can get a Trans Am and drive it myself and uh, give it a lug of what now? Anyway, but uh, this one here, uh, the one thing I wanted to show you guys, the Martinique blue paint is a one year only color. All right, it's a one year only color. The bigger wheels and tires with the upgraded suspension, so you get the 15 by eight rally wheels instead of the 15 by seven. The 15 by sevens are horrible looking. If you've seen them, they're like flat. They look terrible. This just makes the car look so aggressive. Very similar to like the Corvette wheels that you see that have a much bigger wheel and tire combination, give it that muscular look. So here we have one year only color, the four speed, and restored beautifully. Uh, and we'll run down the rest of the features here. All right, so as we look at the paint on this car here, this is a lot nicer than say, uh, you know, the factory uh, color that was on there. So I just want to show you real quick, take a peek at this for a second. I don't want you to read this here. I want you to read this inside the paint. And this is what you need to be looking for when you're online looking at cars. You need to be able to see everything that's here. You need to see the guy's camera, what kind it is. If he had his name on a shirt, what would his name say? That's how clear things need to be. Not the fact that you can see a tree, but you can see all the leaves on the tree. That's great paint, all right? So as uh, these cars become more and more popular, the colors make them more and more valuable. I still love this look. People call it the screaming chicken, but uh, it's still one of the best decal or ornamented cars out there. The Shaker Hood, still an awesome, awesome piece. Today's modern muscle cars uh, are selling those as aftermarket, so still a really cool piece. All right, some stuff that you can't see, okay? In here, we talked about the 15 by uh, eight rally wheels, uh, the snowflake wheels, sorry, all right? Uh, but in here, we have power disc brakes, okay? Because we forget to ask about those things, uh, whether it has power brakes or not, or power disc brakes, because it wasn't standard on every car ever built. Uh, and this car happens to have some of that luxury features, okay? Big white letter tires, 245, 60, 15s. That's a pretty big tire. All right, so wrapped around it is uh, the air dam, okay? And you come up in here. Now we have a front tag bracket for the car, all right? So uh, we can either put it on or uh, just paint two screws and put them over that for you if you don't want to see that in there. Uh, some people like no tag bracket at all. Some people love a tag bracket. This car kind of just came in, so I wanted to get the video done before we put that on there. Uh, you can tell us about that. But I'm just spending a second walking around the car with you just so you could see uh, how nice the gaps are in the doors, how the fenders line up, how everything seems to fit nicely inside here. I mean, detailed all inside the fender wells, right? You come on back here. This has a great blacked out taillights like the Trans Am have. A great color. I love the color of this car. It's a wonderful, wonderful car. And the fact that it's a four speed with the 400, you'd be surprised. These are still really fast cars. All right, let's take a peek under here for a second. So, some things that you should be looking for. For instance, this car not only is a four-speed 400 and it's matching numbers, all right, it has factory air conditioning. It has power disc brakes. It has power steering, all right? All the original kind of accoutrements are still in place here. That's the kind of investment-grade, authentic car you should be looking for right now. Even the fresh air snorkel here, catching cold, fresh air from the inside. The motor's painted the correct color for this year, okay? This color of this engine changes over time from the 69 Pontiac all the way through the 70s, then into the 80s. The color blue changes several different times and uh, I want to make sure this one here is nice and, and good looking. And it's all nicely restored in here so that you can open the hood, go to a car show and be proud of it. Anyway, so part of what you should be looking for too is how is the restoration completed? For instance, are the correct decals in here? Yes, they are. Uh, is the trunk mat correct? Yes, it is, in the aqua and black color. Look at this. The spare tire and inflator bottle is still in the car, the original one. 
That's one cool piece. So that's the uh, so it wouldn't take up the whole trunk. They had these tiny little tires. As soon as you uh, inflated them, they came and uh, got to be full size. That way you don't, uh, uh, if you decide you want to go to a car show or something like that and throw some uh, chairs back here, your cooler, whatever it is you want to do. You want to throw a body back here. It could be a small body, but you could throw a body back in there. Who knows? You never know about these things, all right? All right, so here we are inside. Okay, so as we sit down in here, we got the tan Lombardi cloth interior, which is an option. Power windows, which is an option, okay? Tilt steering, option. Upgraded sound system. Factory air conditioning, which is a really, really nice feature to have, okay? Power windows, power locks, all that good stuff. Makes for a really, really nice car. Then you throw in the four speed, and it makes an even better car. And you'd be surprised at how fast these things roll down the road. Plus they have a full array of gauges, uh, 6,000 RPM tack, uh, the speedometer, volts, fuel, oil pressure, water temperature, all that stuff they have in here. And it makes for uh, just a cool kind of cockpit style car. And I love the engine turn dash. Uh, this is just a great car. So anyway, something to think about. All right, so as we close up the video on this here, the three spoke wheel, it's just a cool interior. Listen, man, uh, these cars, are going up in value every year. They become the new collectible car, and then when you throw in all this stuff, it, uh, I keep saying, I'll probably say it a few more times, options, options, options make for uh, investment grade cars. All right, anyway, let me fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like. It still has a great, great rumble. So we close up this video, 6.6 .6 liter real deal 400, four speed, factory air, power windows, snowflake wheels, power disc brakes, power locks. I mean, come on, man, really? One year only color? You gotta find a way to get a car like this in your life if it's uh, uh, way better than therapy. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.